Well, thousands of visitors have been returning to Hawaii every day under the Safe Travels program, and there's a push to bring them more information throughout their stay. Key part of that component is making sure the visitors know what the rules are from the minute they hit the ground until they get their hotel room key. Kimberly Speakman has more in our top story. Hotels tell me they've been ramping up procedures from bookings to check-in to inform visitors beforehand of the rules. In that booking, we're telling our guests almost to a T that when you come to Hawaii, there are different rules in place. And those rules, whether they're quarantine, social distancing, or mask, or mask wearing, are not optional. Aqua Aston Hotels tell me they've been referring guests at check-in to the Hawaii Tourism Authority's COVID-19 page. Springboard Hospitality, which owns hotels like White Sands, Pacific Monarch, and Ohia Waikiki Suites, says they've had to adjust their message for each county. We've instructed the GMs to, you know, make sure that, they're, that they know what their local county mandate is and that they're explaining that to the guests at check-in. For counties like Oahu that have a tier system, they have a color-coded chart that guests can view. He says most guests have been mainly individuals or couples, so they don't need to explain about the group limits. But Robinson says he wishes there was more communication between hotels and county officials. To find out, you know, even after the October 15th opening, that we're also supposed to be distributing information on the mask mandates. I mean, nobody, nobody from the city or the county or the mayor's office put out any kind of a message to us. He says they only started doing so after they received a message from the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association. But he says with more time, they could have been better prepared. But once hotels get the message, McClellan says they're quick to make sure visitors get it. And the Hawaii Tourism Authority CEO has made it crystal clear that they want us to assist the government in opening safely by sharing messages we know to be true. Mask wearing saves lives and it's the law. And continue to promote safety standards on property like Safe Stay Hawaii that are sufficient to reduce the spread of communicable diseases, especially COVID-19. Robinson tells me there's a meeting between the city and tourism officials Thursday to discuss improving that communication between hotels and the county. We'll follow up and let you know what happens. Kimberly Speakman, K-12 News, working for Hawaii.